Are there any members' statements? Uh, the Honourable Martin Pritchard. Thank you, Mr. President. May I commence my uh, statement by saying that I am uh, particularly proud of my youngest daughter, Danielle, who is a uh, interpreter for the deaf at Shenton Park uh, Deaf School, the School for the Deaf, I should say. This week, uh, from the 17th to the 24th of October, is the National Week of Deaf People, which is recognised as an international event in cooperation with Deaf Australia and the World Federation for Deaf and hosted locally by the West Australian uh, Association for the Deaf. It is held each October and is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the rich culture and heritage of deaf people and to showcase <laughs> their language, Aslan, or Australian Sign Language. The theme for 2015 is, with sign language rights, our children can, and highlights the importance of the right for deaf children to learn Aslan from birth. This right, is to the this right to the language of the deaf is crucial for children's development, and research is very clear that early access to language is the key to full participation in both the deaf community and the general uh, community as citizens. Around 95 per cent of deaf children are born to hearing parents. It can be a bewildering experience for parents characterised by medical jargon and technology said to fix the problem. Parents want to be able to communicate with their child and equip them for language development. A positive parenting approach to this can be through a whole family, from parents, siblings, grandparents and extended family learning Aslan as a shared language. Our own WA Deaf Society has a weekly home-based program called Aslan for Families, but it's challenged to find funds for the more than 20 families a year who could benefit. I also acknowledge the work of and the support of further fund uh, and support further funding for deaf education professionals at the School of Special Educational Needs, who provide much needed support to children and their families. It has been pleasing to see that Aslan, as a LOAT initiative, LOAT standing for language other than English, uh, the initiative developed by Shenton Park at uh, Shenton College Deaf Education Centre and is being taught at Shenton College. Belmont City College and Mos Mosman Park Primary School. This has been a popular choice and should be expanded to more high school years and offered more bro broadly across the state. Youth mentoring and, uh, and after school programs are also vital to combat the potential for isolation for deaf kids and to build their sense of engagement for, with community. The WA Deaf Society needs further support for initiatives in this area to complement the important work over many years by DEFINITE, its Deaf Specialty Employment Service. I am sure that we are all delighted to have hosted a tour of Parliament House by deaf youth today, and I am committed to them participating fully as citizens of our state for many years to come. They have also no doubt been inspired, as I have, by 2015 Youth Australian of the Year, Dracina Levitz Gray, as she advocates for deaf rights, and in particular for the rights of deaf children to Auslan from birth, a wonderful role model. Their visit to Parliament House today is just one of many events in WA for the National Week of Deaf People, which, has, which was launched last Saturday at Fremantle Prison. And of course, we mustn't forget the deaf seniors who have today toured Government House. Today, one in six Australians are affected by hearing loss. By 2050, it is likely that one in four Australians will be affected. The issue for deaf and hard of hearing is, in our states are only becoming more important. This time of celebration for the deaf community is also a time for the broader WA community to reflect on how we can provide full community participation for deaf citizens. This should also include seeing how we can provide improved access to government information in Aslan, be it, be it in publications, on websites, or Aslan interpreters for community events, especially critical life-saving communications like bushfire alert broadcasts. Our state is fortunate to have quality Aslan interpreting services like Sign Language Communications WA offering 24-7 coverage. We just need to make sure that we, as a government, are fulfilling our obligations to provide Aslan access for the deaf community.